Thank you very much, Vice President of External Affairs, Nature Conservancy, President of Republic of Indonesia, Vice President of the Republic of the Seychelles, colleague Prime Ministers Thomas and Gillard, other Ministers of Government present here this morning, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, of course we have in our midst the Vice Minister of Colombia, and we also have the, the Chair of the Nippon Foundation. I am extremely pleased to be participating in this exercise here this morning. Leaders valuing nat nature is the theme of this activity here, and I want to thank the organizi organizers for extending uh, this invitation to Antigua and Barbuda. Uh, when I was making my decision to come to, to Rio, and I reflected on what we could decide to do over the next 20 years, I was somewhat encouraged to know that in Antigua and Barbuda, we did not come to Rio with just complaints of things not done. But we have ideas and programs that we are excited to tell you about. The protection of the environment is a must for a country like Antigua and Barbuda, where our beauty and freshness account for over 70% of our national income. But when resources are so limited, I have to say to my Minister of Marine Resources and the Environment, the Honorable Hilson Baptist, who uh, is here with me uh, today, how can we possibly afford to protect and manage all of this? And I know he would say, how can we afford not to? Herein lies, of course, the dilemma. Uh, this dilemma, the protection of our environment, badly needs a dedicated, sustainable financial solution. Over the past several months, Antigua and Barbuda has been in discussions with our international partners such as the Jeff, TNC, and others, as well as our good friends here in Brazil. I think we may now have found a solution. It gives me great pleasure, therefore, to announce here at this important gathering and event that the government of Antigua and Barbuda will, during the next 18 months, establish a trust fund for coastal conservation and adaptation. This is the first fund of the kind in Antigua and Barbuda. This fund will be capitalized through various mechanisms such as debt swaps, revolving micro-loan schemes for climate mitigation and adaptation projects, and through user fees from the management of protected areas. With the success of this fund, the country can be well on its way to protecting up to 20% of its marine space and over 15% of its terrestrial space by 2020. Our team within the ministries of finance and the environment 
are working on the final technical and legal arrangements. And when agreed, this mechanism is expected to be fully in place by 2013. So, Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow leaders, as the Prime Minister of a small country with so many difficult questions to answer, I am pleased to say we are well on the way to funding, finding rather, the answer to at least one burning question, that is, how can we afford to? Let me repeat that. I am pleased to say that we are well on our way to finding the answer to at least one burning question, and that is, how can we afford to? Thank you very much.